What's up, you spooky sex pots? You join me live from the UK, fresh from admitting defeat on the Halloween review, sorry. I have been working on one and it's actually shaping up all right, but there's just no way I'm gonna get it finished in time. So I'm just gonna give it a couple of days, let it breathe a bit and just put it out as a normal review, but with a slightly spooky bend. I've put enough work in to not give up on it. So it is gonna happen, but it's gonna be really late, sorry. So in the meantime, let's check the old mailbox. Box 55, one Henry Street. Nottingham, 15BL. Spook frighted King Doom. <laughs> Terrible. Anyway, shall we? So, first up, I have a very flaky looking item. Saw this and thought of few. It's a very oddly filled, kind of squishy, kind of not squishy, very thin bag. I don't think it's even a jiffy bag. I think this is just an envelope. <sighs> I'm actually mildly concerned about this. Uh, uh, another one. Just layers upon layers. Oh, the suspense. A third envelope. And a fourth. Uh, uh, okay. It's a little, uh, little Autobot badge stand thing. What on earth? 25. Oh boy, it's from the 25th anniversary. 2008. And it's like a little hook. Is there a button? Does this do something? I see speaker holes. Is it Bluetooth? Probably not, right? Okay, it's a little Autobot symbol that I can put on my desk that may have some other function, but who knows? I'm glad I found out what was in there. That was bugging me, that one. It was mildly freaky. Is, is that a good start? It's a start. Thanks once again to uh, the person who didn't say who they were. Okay, this is one I actually opened before the show. Uh, this was part of another package, like a birthday package from our friend Nate, but I wasn't expecting the most excellent artwork. <laughs> I should have expected it. He's a bloody good artist. But I wasn't prepared to see the robot who looks exactly like me delivering my own catchphrase and giving Sky... Is it Skywarp or is that Nova Storm? I don't know. Purple Seekers. It's all good. I'm going to have to frame this. It's too good. <laughs> you know, the more I see Macadam, the more I feel like maybe I should sue. Because he's just... He's me. It's just me. He's even got my trademark wonky mouth. It's fine. I'm not mad, but pay me. I'm the opposite of mad. I'm so happy that character exists. But not as happy as I am to have wonderful, talented, generous friends. Yes, indeed. So thank you, Nate. You are a mate. It's so good to have a mate whose name is Nate and who is great. Also, my brother got me this for my birthday. It is New Age Toys McCoy. He is very small and extremely good. Fully recommended. So uh, thanks, bruv. That's not part of the show, really. <laughs> but this is. We have another weird, lumpy package. I'm just gonna pop it open, come on. Dear Few, what is this? Is it a transformer? If so, what or who? P.S. Will you grow your hair long again? Probably not. I, I do occasionally miss it. I have a lot of dreams where I've got all my hair again and I'm so happy to have long, luscious locks, but it's just too high maintenance. I'm too lazy. And this is from The Hair Group, the UK's leading hair salons. Whoa, okay. We have a, a MicroMaster adjacent knockoff thing. Whoa, look at this. It is a pretty mean looking, kind of looks like Death's Head, or General Grievous almost, but can confirm this is not a Transformer. <laughs> oh, it's um, it's Darth Vader, isn't it? Okay, it's like a little tiny Darth Vader head. What like those Hot Wheels is that they do that are um, little cars based off of the um, character designs from Star Wars. They're kind of neat, actually. They're a cool idea. Like there's one of C-3PO and like a Boba Fett car, but this is not one of those. <laughs> it's kind of midway between one of those and the Micro Man but with without any of the goodness. Do, 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 do what a load of shite. <laughs> what does that say? This little orange tablet on there. Can you see that? It's, it says Y-S-H-H. You should have hair. <laughs> I did get pretty close to committing to regrowing the hair, but like, I don't want to go through all the stages of having kind of long hair and not knowing what to do with it. I'm sure we've talked about this before, right? But <laughs> point is, thank you, the hair group. This is shaking out pretty weird already, isn't it? All right, so got one here from a, a fellow called Sam in Van Cleve, Missouri. Oh, let's play Guess the State again. Broken toy robots. Well, this will be a treat. Is this going to be a box of already broken knockoffs? Like, what do you need me for then if you're just going to break them yourself? Hi! All caps, exclamation mark, comma. My name's Sam. I'm 13 years living in Ocean Springs, Mississippi. Mississippi, okay. Love your content. I hope you'll like smashing these knockoffs. Some parts might be missing, but whatever. So I hope this makes it into your Damn It Open and KO Beatdown videos. And that's it. Sincerely, Sam. Well, thank you, buddy. Good work on censoring the word damn it there. Good lad. Okay, what are we about then? Uh, 
<laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> so this seems to be a knockoff of, I don't know, possibly Sinner Twin or one of those. These arms are very familiar. It's got the old turny roundy legs and like very basic combinery shape, but the only head he's got is the little human face. This is like the reverse nightmare. The dog with the human face? That is creepy. This is some Halloween shit right here. Oh my God. <laughs> That ain't right. <laughs> like some kind of sacrificial statue? That is deeply weird. I don't know if it actually is Sinner Twin. I can't think of another one quite like this. Anyway, cheers, Sam. That's uh, nice and disturbing. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh boy, so this is um, a knockoff of the 2008 Legends Cosmos? Uh, Bob Ross Moss? I don't know. He's actually kind of similar to Pathfinder, isn't he? He's got the um, the dark blue and the gray. That's very Pathfinder-y colors. But yeah, these have started to show up in like five packs in places like B&M, sort of Pound Stretcher, that sort of vibe. There's like this one and like the Ultra Magnus and like Cybertron Jetfire, I think. And they all look absolutely dreadful and I need them. Oh, speaking of, yeah! I think this may actually be the very one. That very five pack, or excerpts thereof at least. <laughs> oh, that is crap. Sort of creamsicle colors. Oh, it's Thundercracker, isn't it? Not, not Jet, there was a Jetfire repaint, but this was Thundercracker. Okay, got it, don't at me. Wet fire. And we have, hello friend, Revenge of the Fallen Skywarp. Looking not his best. I mean, he's not a great looking figure to begin with, but he's, <laughs> he's, he's all over the shop. Oh, mate. What has become of you? Looks like he's missing a, uh, yeah, he's got a, oh no. <laughs> Thank you, but don't send me broken stuff. What am I gonna do with this? This is gonna go in the bin. Any customizers might want this. And oh look, this appears to be the very Magnus. Yep, this is him, all right. The very multi-pack. Ooh, baby. Ultra sadness. It's not terrible, I suppose. I've seen much worse. Seems to be a slightly more robust mold. What was this from? I can't even remember. It's got a distinctly uh, reveal the shield sort of vibe on the go, but I can't actually remember what release this was. Oh, I mean, it's a knockoff, so this isn't the best version of it, but it doesn't seem too bad. Or is it the titanium one? Oh no. <laughs> This is quickly going south. I shouldn't have tried to transform it. It's all going horrible. And we have the very same Devastator knockoff that was in one of the recent ones. The guy even wrote it, yeah. It was in um, a Ticket to Tangent Town. But um, yeah, it's, it's them again. Whee! A second set of this lot. And likewise, we have the same Land Cross knockoff that I came across recently. Hey, loads of crap from our Sam. Got the old knockoff uh, Devastator and Land Cross, these things, and uh, a smashed up Skywarp. Oh, he's got several bits missing, even better. I kind of love how flippant this is. It's the same one as the other one, but whatever. Some parts might be missing, but whatever. I love it. <laughs> He's just straight not giving a what. Good man. Nice one, Sam. Oh, well, I've got you. Must give a shout out to uh, Toy Fu once again. Good old Nick. He sorted me out with a couple of bits for Slapdash, so we're very nearly complete on that. Good old Slapdash. We love him. It's been the year of Slapdash. And yes, I should probably address the elephant in the room. I am wearing my own merch. Is there any better billboard than my own gigantic overweight ass? But yes, the old limited appeal shirt. It does come in all the colors, not just gray. That's the annoying thing about Teespring. It's like, it's great and everything, and I love it, but you can only display one image per item, and then all the variants all go up as separate listings on the page, so it's, it gets really cluttered and also really boring. It's not ideal. Point is, items are available in various colors. Anyway, enough about my business concerns. I've got a nice package here from uh, somewhere in the UK. It's a lovely, classy, brown open at the front sort of treasure chest thing. I love it when the box is almost open for you. Oh my God. <laughs> do I do de do? This is, that's Battle Unicorn, isn't it? Good work. Dear Battle Funicorn. <laughs> I'm sensing a theme. I wonder what might be in the box. Love your work, keep doing what you're doing and the way you like to do it. Three things-ish for you, my good fellow. First, I picked up from a Walmart on a recent business trip to China. A Walmart in China? Why am I surprised by that? They're everywhere. Not as much Transformers fun to be had as what I was expecting, but it was odd seeing a major chain store carrying official and various grades of knockoffs side by side. Spoilers, 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 spoilers. And last but not least, some G1 nostalgia button punching. That's what we like. Hope you enjoy. Yours, a fan. Well, thank you, a fan. My interest is peaked. Back once again with the Renegade Devastator. Another different knock off Devastator, all right. How many of these flipping things are there? 
How many can there be? How many variants on construction machines that turn into a robot and then a bigger robot can there possibly be? Whoa, this actually feels pretty good. I'm hearing die-cast noises. Flipping heck, this is all right. Look at this lad. The old G2 yellow on the go. This has got to be some kind of third-party guy, right? Like the uh, like the Make Toys one or something. I don't flip it. I can't tell the difference. But there are people who can, so if anyone can identify what this is or what this is a knockoff of, then pop if you would appreciate it. God, that shovel's so heavy, he can't stand up. Oh, well, look at that. He's got heels. This is decent. Similar sort of little bone crusher fellow. No one would follow an unchrismatic. Mix master from the same set. This is gonna, oh, I'm gonna do all of these. I feel like these might deserve like a proper video. These are actually quite good. So we've got bulldozer, shovel truck, crane, and of course, Dumpers. Xingbian <laughs> Shanshan Alloy King Kong God. Amazing. This is premium knockoff stuff. I'm definitely getting the itch. I feel like I've got enough knockoff devastators now to do a video just about knockoff devastators. But when I did the ruination one, I feel like it got a bit monotone. I don't know. Basically, I've got enough knockoffs to last a flipping decade at this point. Oh, this must be the uh <laughs> What? <laughs> Blowouts? <laughs> These are those party things where you go, aren't they? <laughs> but they've got Thundercracker on. All right, that is the most pathetic merchandise. You can't just put an entire picture of Thundercracker on and be like, okay, that's merch now. Although I suppose that's exactly what merch is, isn't it? I've got some Skywalk party hats somewhere as well and a bowl. I could have a whole G1 themed party. How tragic would that be? Once I hit a million subscribers, I'll break out the party hat and I'll go, and it'll be 2065 and I'll be dead. Whoever thought it'd come to this? Any whomst? Oh my god. <laughs> ah, I kind of like this. The reformers. Is that what that is? But I, I, I kind of get it. I dig it. This is the um, cyber battalion, isn't it? Or is it like one of those evergreen designs that they're doing now? Basic sort of tank Megatron guy. Pretty sure these are cyber battalion with the old Age of Extinction style box. They can't get away from that. They're everywhere. So easy to rip off, I suppose. Gained deformation. What? This is the same label. So the constructor comes down here and this are both from Monbu. Monku, it's a thumbs up emoji in the middle of the word. Has your phone number got an H in it? Mon Yesu? Mon Gudu? I don't know. Excellent work! I love the um sort of Monster in My Pocket colours, like season two Monster in My Pocket, like the bright orange and the horrendous blue. It ain't cool, but it's kind of cool. And by the way, look at this artwork. That is not, because this is just ripped off from the movie, but that, I've never seen that before. That's kind of wicked, actually. Interchange, series, styles, deformation. I love how much use the word deformation gets in these things. Because it's always like, deform warriors, deformation king. That's not what that means. I get it. I get why. It's a kind of similar word. But it means something really different. But yes, thank you, a fan, for the uh, ridiculous Megatron. Turns out he goes more like that. Like a like a diaper. Like a diaper, baby. <laughs> that sucks. I love it. Unrelated battle unicorn. do de do unicorn <sighs> Excellent. Okay, this one is incredibly heavy. This has come from Chris in Warrington, covered in nasty orange tape. That's Halloween, you right? So, how do we feel about Cyberverse Rack and Ruin? Are we Rack and Doing it? Can you believe Rack and Ruin is getting an action figure? in a toy line for kids. Cause he's been around since like 1986 and just never done anything. And now he's back in pog form. Anyway, <laughs> a letter for ya. To revenge of my stupidity. Toothy, I'm so sorry about the hell you went through with Shurik Engine and Boyce. How was that hell? That was brilliant. <laughs> as well as my abysmal handwriting, as well as not explaining how any of it worked. Well, discovery is half the fun, but yeah, handwriting's not great, bro. <laughs> but I think this bundle will make it up for you, seeing as my account has come to an end. Oh no. Please enjoy them, Chris. So yes, by my powers of deduction, this has got to be from Chris, uh, who sent us the old Shurik engine and uh, indeed Wario, who has not left my desk since he arrived. Oh, it's a shame you've shut your account, mate. Sorry to hear about that. But I shall do my duty to honor its memory. Okay, let's dig into this news papper. Whoa, oh my cripes. Cripes and flip. Flip and heavens. <laughs> Generations Dirge. God, he's in lovely shape too. I love this Dirge. <laughs> I actually legitimately love this figure. Oh my God, he's got repro labels, dude. 
He looks dynamite! Yeah, so what happened with my Generations Dirge was I got all of the classic Seekers. I'm sure I've talked about this before, it's so embarrassing. But then I decided to go for the Henke releases instead. I think there was something at the time about this figure that bugged me. It might be just how naked his wings are at the front. So I went for Henke Dirge instead, and now I don't like him either. <laughs> Because this one, the only thing that bugs me is uh, the big, naked, empty wings. Like, they, they just look a bit naff. But the rest of it I really like. He's got, like, the lovely deep blue and the thick black details. But on the Henke one, they're sort of a wishy-washy grey. I don't know. There, there is no perfect dirge. But this is pretty nice. And thank you, Chris. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Straight up carded Thomas figure. Figure? Can't really call it a figure. Straight up carded Thomas the Tank Engine from Thomas and the Magic Railroad. I've never seen that. I don't understand how it works. Is it live action? I don't care. Like, I do have kind of a really deep down fondness to um, the Thomas designs and that. I just don't care about the stories anymore. But this is really nice. Oh, can't not love a Thomas. We have an Energon Battle Ravage, I believe. It's a pretty nice sort of a Deceptor Cat thing, isn't it? Somewhere between uh, like Ravage and Pounce. Friggin' medieval ball and chain for a tail. That's amazing. This is some manner of, um, is this the Sky Boom Shield? We've encountered this before and I've never successfully combined it. But it does appear to have some kind of uh, custom paint job, sort of a thrusty vibe on the go. Okay, I'm down. I'm down. Uh, who that? Oh, Sailor Uranus. Right, this is a Sailor Moon thing. Okay. Never watched Sailor Moon. I don't know it at all. That's kind of a cute figure, though. Hello. Very leggy gal. Okay, I have an anime girl statue now, so that's a door I never thought I'd open. Are we going with Uranus or Uranus? It's political correctness gone boring. Um... The... Baddie from Kirby, is that? Oh, it's an amiibo. Is Wario an amiibo? Oh, it is. What's an amiibo? Nice cardigan, anyway. Okay, I have some kind of ball. This is a bionicle, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. It's barfed itself to bits. Oh, now we're talking flipping Waluigi. <laughs> wah! That's all I know about Waluigi is that he goes wah. There we go, the lads. I love how Wario just has Impactor's colors. I have decided that these are human formers of Impactor and... Uh, Tarantulas? Why not? Uh, another one of these. A Rhinoxy looking one of these. I don't know what this is. It's like a Predator head, isn't it? Like a Mighty Max Predator head. But here's something I've been skirting around. <laughs> oh, I'm out of Megatron! Now we're talking, baby! This, if you'll pardon the expression, is my absolute jam. And indeed, my marmalade and my honey. It's just an avalanche of gimmicks, this thing, isn't it? It's got like a little prison, but this is the last Unicron Trilogy Megatron I needed. This is something I've been low-key craving for a long time, and now I don't have to bother tracking one down. <laughs> I think it's complete. It might need batteries. I don't know. We'll have a look, but thank you, Chris. This is marvelous. Is Chris short for Christmas? Uh, right, got a few Minicons. We've got a G1 Brawl. Looking pretty nice. I think These are very sturdy, these, aren't they? Like, I've never seen a knackered G1 Brawl. They're always in great shape. Like, there was this weird phenomenon about a year ago when, like, loads of people's vortexes just started disintegrating all at once. But Brawl is basically indestructible. Uh, we've got an Olaf keyring. Alright. Do you want to go in the bin? Wow. Olaf got that wagon. <laughs> That's the worst thing I've ever said. <laughs> uh, we have some kind of wheel? Like a magic eight ball thing. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> All right. Oh, bitch! What is this? Oh, <sighs> bro! I'm way too unhealthy to take that kind of surprise. What if I died live on the show? <laughs> then who would edit and upload it? What is this, though? Like a clock or a hockey puck? Is this like a Carmen Rider thing? It looks very, um, Sentai. Like, you'd hold it to the camera and go, DEFORM KING! That's what they do, right? They hold things and yell. I don't know those shows. Although, isn't that what I do? Am I a Sentai, secretly? Am I a Power Rangers? But what is that in disguise as? Like a hockey puck? Never know what's coming when Chris is in the house. I've got some mini cons. This is the Requiem Blaster, but in a different color. Because I did do a video about something Armada related years and years ago, and I included the Requiem Blaster in that. It was at that point in my YouTube time when I was just pointing at stuff and going, That's rubbish! Are you serious? 
that's rubbish. And to be fair, that is rubbish. But anyway, this is some kind of variant I haven't seen. It's quite cool, actually, because the original is like part of it's blue, some of it's red, but this is like a unified sort of uniform scheme. What is that, though? It's rubbish. That doesn't make any flipping sense. I suppose it works, but it's, it's so dumb. Oh, we have some uh, little MicroMaster combiners. This is, I think, Air Raid out of the um, Superion set. So cool, the colors on this. But they all have the terrible leg. All the plain MicroMasters have the terrible leg. Well, that ain't a leg. Like this guy, Stormcloud, Whisper, Sunrunner to an extent, they all have this problem. Except Flat Top. Isn't that weird? And these two are from Six Turbo, pretty sure. Quite a cool little chunky motorbike alt mode. But again, he has the crap leg, or like the crap everything. It's a shame. He forms the combiner's butt. It's just, it's just so tragic. <laughs> No way, it's Bertie Bus. I remember him. God, that is some twee, 1950s, tiny. That's so Beano, isn't it? I don't know what it is. It's that, it's that specific sort of very English, little Britain village life, old town nostalgia. I don't know exactly if that has a name, this genre of stuff, but all that, that's just that's just a sticker. And <laughs> he's got his silly chinny face. Good old Bertie Bass. Cheeky bright yellow wee wee gun. It's got a distinctly energy flavor to it. I'm assuming this is Ravages. Yeah, it's gotta be. It's the same as this little thingy. It's, it's gotta be. Uh, Go Onga. Oh, wait. Isn't there a thing Engine Sentai Go Onga? Yeah, I kind of vaguely remember somebody telling me about that. Something about trains. In your Knockoffs 2 video, you mentioned that the Thomas Combiner was an awesome Industrial Revolution Super Sentai thingy. Industrial Revolution is the term for the monsters in Engine Sentai Goonga Onga. What? So this is like a little thingy. Oh. There's a little picture of a guy, and it turns into a different guy. All right. <laughs> and there's like dragon teeth. I just straight up don't get it. A couple more colored in Ribeenery mini cons. This is the uh, Star Saber set. Bit of a uh, black current popsicle vibe. Cheeky handful of bot bots. We've got the gross fungus boy once again. Seen him before with his uh, little mushroomy afro. So gross. That one's a blender. Oh god, is this the vampire cake? I hope it is. Some kind of dizzy boy. I don't know. Is that the vampire? Because there's another one that's like a cake, but also a unicorn. Is that right? Kind of done with bot bots now. There's too many. Like they're fun and everything, but it's, it's all a bit much now. I think there's already like 300 of them. Can we just have a couple of months off? And some Bakugan? No. Caillou Ranger. So with a yellow ball and a purple ball. Is there a thing in the balls? Doesn't look like it. They look like they're just hollow. Do you put a thing in the balls? Do you store some pee in there? I don't know. It's all in Japanese. I don't know what this is. It's Fun though, isn't it? All right, so we got Battle Ravage, Cheeky Dirge, Flipping Armada Megatron, Minicons and Minicons and MicroMasters, a pristine Thomas and a very beat up Bertie. This legit looks like it's from the 60s. And uh, a slim, thick, cheeky babe. Christ, she's like 80% leg. And a duck with a mallet. So thank you, Chris. That's a nice little box full of mysteries. I don't know what I'm going to do with any of this stuff. But we have a puck and we have Armada Megatron and that's enough for me. So nice one, Chris. Once again, you've showered me with Sentai and Nintendo. Nintendo stuff. Nintentai? Uh, that could very easily go wrong. All right, it's getting a little bit late, so let's wrap it up. But let's just do one more real quick, just to put a button on it. So this has come from Wesley in Tucson, Arizona. Review during October. Oh, just made it. Okay, custom packaging. Zombiecon Skywarp. Oh boy. You done got all bashed up after a horrific accident during a battle. <laughs> Skywarp was killed after receiving two shots to the spark. After a few decades of being buried under rubble and a run-in with Dark Energon, he is back with a thirst for the Energon of the enemy. And even his allies. Is this the mark of the end of the Transformers? We may never know. Ellipses. Yet. <laughs> I have given you this because I thought you enjoyed Skywalk toys. I do, thank you. So I made you one. Also, after experimenting with this custom painted bootleg, I found that you can use a Lego figure stand. Okay, so we can start. I think I've got one. Yeah, I have got a spare one kicking around, I think. Oh, there's one in there, all right. <laughs> Check me out at my channel, The Bootleg Brethren, on YouTube. Thank you. No, thank you, Bootleg Brethren. Uh, I don't know if I want to open this. It's kind of so cool that you've 
given it its own packaging. I think I might leave it in there and just hang it up. It's the same with that friggin' custom figure of me that somebody made like three years ago. I don't want to open it because then it'll never be the same and because like, there's only one of it. I feel really weird about that. But yes, we have ZombieCon Skywarp from the Bootleg Brethren. He's giving him a right scrapping on this wing. My God. And he's all like leaking energy on out the cockpit. That is certainly some gory glory. All right, that'll do for today, I reckon. So cheers, everybody, for watching. Um, big thanks to the Bootleg Brethren and to Chris and to uh, Sam and the mystery fan and uh, the hair group. This is hair, this counts. Before I go, I just want to say thanks to everybody who's watching because uh, I've actually had a really good month. I've gained loads of subscribers and view counts have been like through the roof. It's like really encouraging. So I shall hit you back in November with a couple of fresh reviews. And as always, there's more to come on BBC Few. <laughs> Oh, right, I'm still going. Um, yes, thanks for watching and everything. I've already done that kind of just now. But particular patrony thanks to Bronson2944. My favourite year. Okay, catch you later. Be sure to subscribe for more Thew's Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.